Hey, what's up, Brew Crew? Opie here. Welcome back to my Brew City Garden. So it's that time of year. Old Man Winter is getting ready to move his old butt out of here, and spring is on its way, which means it's time for us to go find some straw bales. So whether you've been straw bale gardening for years now, or if this is your first time ever, you know that it can be a little bit difficult to figure out where you're going to find your bales. And I got a few tips that just might help you out right now. So you've done all your research and you decided it's time to start a straw bale garden. But there's only one problem. Where do you get your bales? Well, trust me, I've been in your shoes. Um, I, it can be a little bit difficult or it can seem like it's a little bit difficult sometime. I totally understand. But if me living in the city of Milwaukee can get bales delivered to my door, I guarantee you, you can find bales somewhere near you. Now, depending on where you live, that may be the case, that may not be the case. Obviously, if you're in the middle of the desert, uh, coming across some straw bales is probably gonna be fairly difficult. So this is gonna vary by region, but typically uh, across the whole planet, there is some source of straw available to you unless you really live in, in a, um, really an inhospitable climate. And then I don't know if you wanna be really trying to garden anyway. So lucky, luckily for me, even though I am uh, in the city, I'm still smack dab in the middle of the Midwest of the United States. And we're literally surrounded by uh, uh, cereal grains and corn and all kinds of agriculture. So uh, it's really not that difficult. Now I've talked to people from around the world. Uh, I know a couple of ladies in Australia, they're using uh, either rice straw or some are even using sugar cane bales, uh, which is something I had never heard of. But it just goes to show that uh, if you think outside the box and go with whatever resources are local to your area, chances are you're going to find something that will work just fine. So if I had to suggest a few places to look, uh, the first thing I'm, I want you to reach out to is your, uh, your local county extension office. Um, that's probably your best bet as far as getting hooked up with a new supplier because they have their finger on the heartbeat of what is going on in the agricultural community. Now, other than that, there's a couple other places you can look. Uh, what, where I find my bales and I find it the easiest to find a lot of things is, uh, especially here in the United States and also in the UK, is a, is a website called craigslist.org. And uh, it's really simple. You just sign, you know, you get on Craigslist. It's a totally free service. So there's all kinds of listings on there. And you can even put up a, uh, a wanted ad. So if you could put an ad out there saying that you're looking for bales and so many bales or whatever, and potentially get hooked up that way. Or a lot of times I get on Craigslist and I find in my area, there's at least two or three listings of people looking to sell their straw bales. And a lot of times those people will be more than willing to deliver that straw to you for just a nominal fee. Now, another place to look, and I know probably pretty much everybody here has an account, Facebook. Facebook has a marketplace. So go check out the Facebook marketplace. I've looked at it plenty of times. I'm almost always find a listing for straw. Uh, and that's in this metropolitan area. So if you're anywhere near the country or uh, towards agricultural areas, I can pretty much guarantee you, you're gonna find straw listed there. A couple other places you can look would be uh, your local co-ops. Um, a lot of even large cities have farmers co-ops. Uh, grain and feed stores. So people need to feed their animals. They need to bed their animals. So there's straw out there, even in uh, highly populated areas like this. Uh, if you can find a feed store, chances are you're going to find straw or you're going to just talk to the owner or talk to somebody in the store. Somebody's going to know where to get you some straw. All right, guys. So speaking of getting bales, um, I got to run outside because my bale delivery is going to be here in about 10 minutes. And I'm telling you, I couldn't be happier. It's it's finally that time of year and I'm just so excited awesome but anyway that farmer's coming and we got to get our butts outside all right guys let's go
right, so as you can see, I got my uh, I got my bales in today, and they're uh, nice and stacked up neatly behind me for now. Uh, the weather's supposed to be uh, clear for the next week, so they can sit here for a little while. Uh, if there's going to be a surprise rain or anything like that in the forecast, I will cover these bales with a tarp. Uh, you don't want these getting wet until you get them to the position where you want them in the garden. Once these bales are wet, they'll go from about uh, 30, 40 pounds to way heavier, like 100, 200 pounds each. Uh, when they get waterlogged, they are very heavy and they're very hard to move. So uh, keep that in mind when you get your bales. So these bales, they look very nice and they've been consistent. And you know, it's good to, uh, if you find a source, try to form a, a relationship with that source. Uh, and you know, with any luck, uh, you can go back to them uh, year after year. And uh, you know, I, I really got lucky uh, here in Milwaukee, uh, these outstanding um, farmers that are, were willing to bring these bales out to me and uh, for, for a nominal fee. Uh, what I paid for these bales with delivery was $5 a piece. Uh, if I were to go pick up bales, if I had a trailer and I went out to pick up my own bales, they typically run anywhere from $350 to $5 a piece. Um, that's if I pick them up. For, so for those guys to bring these bales to me uh, for $5 a piece, is, it's really an excellent deal. And that's why um, I keep going back uh, to these particular people every year. Uh, the bales are nice and consistent. Uh, they are uh, ryegrass. They're nice and clean. Uh, you know, you might see there's some seed heads in them, but with rye, it's not, um, typically those seeds are not viable. So I don't have to worry about these things sprouting up like chia pets. Uh, so just a really great source. And um, I, I consider myself lucky. So as you can see, there are several uh, different of sources to get your bales. I mean, if you, you can go to the big box stores and grab them, uh, the farmers co-ops, you can go out and uh, pick up your own. Uh, there's several sources typically out in the country, or if you get lucky, like I have, and formed a relationship with a farmer that's willing to bring the bales to me. But uh, either way, with a little bit of homework, it's really not that difficult. And even if you live in a major metropolitan area, uh, like I do here in Milwaukee, uh, it really didn't take me too long to find a bale source. All right, guys, it looks like I got some work to do. We'll see you.